What's up guys? Welcome to a dark and windy episode. <laughs> so we're going to make this uh, this outdoors portion of this brief because it is very windy. S24 Ultra right there is the Milky Way. We're going to see if we can put those two together and see what happens. I mean, I know what's going to happen because I've been doing this for years, but uh, maybe some of you don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to screen capture this for you guys. I'm going to walk you through. Uh, basically, I'm going to take three shots. I'm going to take a pro mode shot, an expert raw shot, and a four minute astro exposure, a four minute exposure in astro mode shot, which is also in expert raw, but that's something different. So let's just jump right in and get this part out of the way so we can get back into the computer. All right, so we're in photo mode. We're gonna go to more, we're gonna go to pro mode. We are going to go to 20 seconds. ISO 1600, we're going to leave everything else in auto, the white balance and the focus surprisingly does a good job. So I'm going to have camera lady hit the lights and we're going to take this shot. Okay, so we are seeing some weird stuff. So this is the raw. It's looking uh, a little dark, but the moon just went down, so um, that's normal looking. We've got some light pollution over there from a little town. All right, so we're in expert raw mode, and we're gonna go same settings, ISO 1600, 20 seconds shutter speed. You may be wondering if you know anything about Astro and you know anything about this camera already that it can do 30 seconds. Why would I not be doing 30 seconds to get to lower my ISO? And the reason is because of the focal length. So doing 30 seconds on this main lens will give me a little bit of motion blur in the stars. So I'm cutting that down and I'm choosing to pick a higher ISO rather than, uh, rather than get those motion blur. All right, light. All right, so you can see this is actually still processing and I could have sworn that I told I turned the processing down on this thing. All right, so here we go. This is the raw and it's looking the raw is looking a little bit overexposed actually and the JPEG is looking still overexposed but cleaner because phone processed it. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm not liking where this is going. We're going to back this down to 800 ISO. So this is still doing some weird computational stuff in here in Expert Raw uh, that I feel like it didn't used to do. All right, lights. All right, so we can see it's processing again. Oh, so that's looking better. We do have a green tint, and I swear I'm noticing... I'm, this is not the first time I've noticed this green tint in Expert Raw. If you've watched any of my other Astro videos on the phones from either the S24 or the S23 Ultra, uh, you probably would have seen me encounter this already. But that is looking better. All right, last shot. Let's get this. Let's hide the sky guide because we don't need that. So they've changed it from short, medium to long. Uh, from the numbers it used to be four minute seven minute ten minute, which I'm assuming it still is So it's going to take a bunch of its own shots and then blend them together in astro mode over a four minute period So we're gonna see what that does. All right lights Okay, so the four minute astro mode shot is done as I suspected we have a flock ton of green. All right, we're gonna go take these into the computer and we're gonna see what we can do with these. And I'm gonna try to figure out which mode I think is the best for doing this kind of stuff. And, uh, and we'll talk about it in there where it's not super windy and I have chai. So we'll see you in a second.
All right, so we're back in the studio. It's nice and not windy now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the computer and take a look at these images. We're gonna edit a couple and just see what they're doing. And I just wanna get a feel for which modus I think gonna be best for Milky Way because I did already do the astrophotography mode. So if you haven't seen that, you just wanna see regular astrophotography, you can check that out. But there's a difference with Milky Way. You know, there's a lot more detail in the sky in the Milky Way area going on. And I just like to see how the phone handles that. So let's just jump in and check it out. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of these pro mode images first. This is where traditionally I would have started out. However, as you can see, they're not looking so hot. So obviously we're not even gonna bother with the JPEG. That looks absolutely horrible. We're just gonna go straight in here to the raw and see what kind of processing we can do to clean this thing up. So you'll notice first off, it's looking a little green. That white balance, that tint and white balance on this definitely seems to, to be an issue these days. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna clean this up a bit. The one thing I do wanna check that I always check <laughs> because of Photoshop updates so it's you'll notice right here it still says denoise is not currently compatible with this photo format and this is a dng so that should tell you something right there that this dng is not a real raw file it's doing something weird so that means we're just going to have to do this manual noise correction and that's unfortunate because it's just nowhere near as good as this ai denoising so you can see we've got a bit of vignetting right here but um, that's not just vignetting like it might be a little bit but it's also just the darker parts of the sky starting to show up because we're the milky way unfortunately is right over this city so we're just going to try to our best to uh, deal with that All right, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it right now in camera raw. So we'll go ahead and bring it in Photoshop. So you'll see we've got some coma on the edges. That's part of the lens issue. You'll see we've got some vignetting, also probably part of the lens issue. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a crop, take some of that yucky stuff out. I don't like to crop too much on phones anyways, but I really don't like to crop too much on phones with Astro because it's already pushing these little sensors as hard as they possibly can but i did just want to crop out some of the yucky boundary areas there that's looking a lot better so let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit more okay that's very subtle but just a little bit of enhancement to that galactic core there. And I just need to take out a couple of these satellites. All right, without going too hard and without stacking and tracking and a ton of extra Photoshop work, this is about as good as I'm gonna get this image. So let's go straight to the expert raw mode so that we have some sort of idea what this comparison is going to look like. Wow. So that's a big difference. Right off the bat, we're seeing expert raw mode is doing some very... Okay, <laughs> let me just explain what just happened there. Um, Adobe is having a hard time reading the color profile or translating the color profile in Bridge. So that's why it looked wonky. So this is the raw, the DNG, and this is the JPEG. So the raw DNG is much bigger. It's uh, 42 megabytes, and that's uh, a fair bit larger than the compressed five meg JPEG image. So that's good. But even more so, the green here, this is super weird. All right, so this is the same 30 seconds ISO 1600, and that's looking way too bright. Let's look down. So here's 20 seconds ISO 1600. I think this one's going to give us the best chance for editing. So first things first, we got to fix this color.
Man, that's looking weird. That This part is looking better, but this part, look at all the green and the, the weirdness there. Okay, so just a little bit of color correction there. That's what we started with a couple of linear gradient masks later. And we're at some sort of maybe potentially usable thing, but that green is still really bad. Again, you'll notice even in the expert raw mode, denoising not currently compatible with this photo format, meaning that even though it says it's a raw, there's something going on with its compression and uh, it's not quite raw enough <laughs> for this AI denoising to work. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do the same thing. It's not as bad, so I'm gonna do a similar crop. Okay, so we've got a tiny bit more nebulosity, I would say. We're looking at Dark Horse here and just the faintest bit of the Pipe Nebula, uh, Galactic Core. So if we look at side by side, we can definitely see more detail in the Expert Raw mode. However, I will say that I think, and there's less noise, there's less coma, but this is also because this is a 30 second shot and so we have those little bit of star trails and this is a 20 second shot. I will say I was able to, I think, make the expert raw image look a little bit better. There is more detail in the pro mode image down here, although it is noisier. And I will say that the pro mode was easier to edit by, like look at the difference in the light. So when I started pulling the lights down over the light, light pollution area, the pro mode handled it much better and it looks a lot more natural. But this area right here in the expert raw mode doesn't look as good. But everywhere else, the, the detail of the Milky Way and the sky and the stars are more pinpointed and everything, uh, that, that just looks way better on the expert raw. However, again, the expert raw had much worse color issue with it and I still this green bit here I still haven't fixed that and this is I this is my fault but this is a little more magenta this is a little more natural looking in the pro mode and that could be tweaked some more that could be edited some more on here let's take a look at one final shot and that was with the four minute astro mode so right here you'll notice it's a 25 second, 1600 ISO, and what you might notice if you're very keen on this Astro stuff with the phone is that the Expert RAW actually doesn't have a 25 second option in the manual mode. So that means that it is doing that itself. You'll also notice that it's an, a, this RAW file is smaller. It's an 18.9 megabyte file versus these, Ash, these ones. Look at here, this is 36 and this is the regular uh, expert raw mode. So this four minute one has been even more compressed and what it did is it probably took you know 10 of these shots and then stacked them with the remainder of the four minute uh, time limit. But let's just see if we can edit this one and what it's going to look like compared to the other two. Already it looks softer. It looks a lot softer. All right, so here's the four minute astro mode, and I will say that it is the worst looking of the bunch. But it actually doesn't surprise me as much as you might think because I have, this isn't my first time testing the astro mode on the Milky Way. And for some reason, I have just never been able to get the astro mode to do a very good job with the Milky Way. But I have been able to, a couple of times, get it to do an okay job with regular astrophotography where there's no Milky Way. So the difference between here's the Astro four minute mode and here is the pro mode and then here is the expert raw mode. All right, so that was just a basic look at what it took me to edit those images to some sort of what I consider satisfactory. 
Yeah, I have a lot of thoughts, and I don't know, I don't know if uh, if all of them are great. And I think there's a lot of interesting, both good and weird stuff going on with the Samsung phones. So I've talked about this before in other videos with the uh, the first S24 Astro video that I did, and I think I made maybe maybe I made a separate video, or maybe it was the same video. Uh, but either way, I know that I've talked about like what Samsung has done to the DNGs and how they're not like really DNGs anymore. And I think there's just a lot of computational stuff going on, even in like the manualist of manual modes, which is supposed to be pro mode and expert raw mode. It seems like there's even more computational AI, some sort of processing going on in the expert raw modes. And that didn't used to be the case. Um, you know, a couple of years ago or a year ago, I would have probably recommended using the pro mode more because for a time it did a better job. And now it's not so clear. Like now I feel like there's some really good pros and cons to both pro mode and expert raw mode when we're talking about just the Milky Way. I'm not even talking about Astro as a whole. I'm talking about just the Milky Way because based on these images that I just looked at, there's so many pros and cons to each. You know, the pro mode seems to have more detail in the ground, but the expert raw has more detail in the sky. The pro mode is noisier with like a different noise pattern, even though also these should be using the same main sensor because I didn't change the sensor. You'll also notice that I didn't use the ultra wide or the 3X, and that's because when I'm doing Milky Way, I want to give the phone the best, it's already behind. It already struggles, it already has a hard time because of the tiny sensors and the glass and everything. So I wanna give it the best chance it has. And to do that, I feel like you need to use the main sensor. So that's what I did for both pro and astro mode and expert raw mode, all, all the modes use the main sensor. And it feels like the main sensor is noisier in the pro mode. And then also it feels like in the expert raw mode, there's more, some sort of more stacking going. But I do wonder why there's extra processing going on in even the raw DNG files of the expert raw mode versus the pro mode. Like when all the settings are the same and the sensor is the same, why are they processing it differently? And I know pro mode versus expert raw mode. I know expert raw has like a little bit more color depth and you know, whatever, but it doesn't add up to like why we're seeing such drastic differences between the two. And then, at least in, as far as the Milky Way is concerned, I don't even really want to talk about this poor little Astro mode. I only did the four minute one because, again, if you've seen my other videos, uh, I've kind of determined through at least my own anecdotal evidence that it doesn't really matter between the four and the 10. Like, there's not that much of a difference between the four and the 10 minute. And I've always gotten kind of the best results out of the four minutes anyways. I would be curious if you're interested in like taking this to the next step and seeing me do uh, multiple images and then stacking them myself in post-production and seeing if I can get like a cleaner, more detailed Milky Way shot than what the Astro mode is trying to do. So if that's something you might be interested in, leave that in the comments below. And if I get enough uh, interest, then I maybe I'll give that a go. So which mode do I think you should use? I'd say it's a toss up, you know, depending on your scenario, where you are, the light pollution that you're dealing with, the if you have moon out, if you're whatever border sky you're in. But I would say do them both. I would say do a pro mode and then do an expert raw mode and, uh, and then see which one works best for you. So far, it's kind of a toss up for me. But I think because I'm so comfortable in my editing, I know that I can probably make, still make my expert raw images for the Milky Way look better than the pro mode one does, at least subjectively to me. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. So let me know what you think. I'm really curious. Do you have similar experiences to me with shooting the Milky Way with phones or with, with this phone particularly? Honestly, I, I think in general, I think overall that my S23 Ultra might I mean, at least does as good, maybe not if better subtly than the S24, just because of the way there seems to be more inherent computational things going on with the S24. And I think maybe my S23 Ultra is kind of uh, still doing a little bit better. Again, that's anecdotal and that, that I don't have like hardcore 
evidence to back that up. That's just kind of the way I feel when I'm doing Milky Way specifically with these phones. All right, well, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you sticking through all of that. Hit that like button for me. It's the best thing you can do for the channel. Check out the other S24 Ultra videos that I have, S23 Ultra videos, if you want to uh, see what I've done with past phones. Those are in my respective playlists <laughs> that are on my channel somewhere. And let me know if there's anything else specifically you want to see with the S24 Ultra. I think the only thing that I have left to do that I normally do is just a whole pro mode video about the ins and outs of promos that I do every year. So if that's something you wanna see, let me know. If it's something that you need to see like right now, then just go check out the S23 Ultra Pro Mode because it's very, very similar and you'll get the lay of the land for pro mode and hopefully that'll help you uh, get out there and take some more images. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey.